Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I was tampering with this Lenovo X3650 Model 4 to uh, start the process of putting in a graphics card. I have a graphics card right here that I really wanted to put in here but I very very soon ran into some problems and that was when I thought well I might as well film this someone else might get into this problem somewhere along the way so well let's uh, let's see what I found so far so here is the server and I have the riser card here and that's of course it goes in this way um, and I can put a graphics card in there but over here I ran into that this plastic will get in the way really really fast and these uh, cables over here they're too tall doesn't fit very well over here I could cut off this piece of plastic but well these cables would still be in the way so I would have to take those out and then the rate controller would be no good so it's it's a bit difficult to put in a graphics card over here which is a bit sad because that would have been a nice place for it let's put that out of the way just for the video purposes but there's another riser card I've just taken the riser card uh, this is the wrong one but I've taken it out and the graphics card would be able to fit over here there is like a slot down here for the bottom of the graphics card to stick out here which is awesome so I think I'll actually try that uh, this was where I actually decided that I wanted to bring you along because I need to take this piece of tape off which says that the second riser card will only be enabled if you put in two CPUs which I have let's uh, try and and remove this and we have another riser card and I'll put this somewhere nice put it on the side over here if I ever want to put it back there we are the graphics card could go down here there that's actually not that bad <clears throat> and it's kind of resting on the plastic over here yeah it's not gonna fall out because the, the metal down here is also holding it in place but definitely a bit wobbly and this is where it would be really awesome to use this so let's see what happens if I put the graphics card over in this one I have already tried that and it's not without difficulties so that one was the one we needed so to do that you you open up this blue thing and you put in the graphics card yes Oh, and you have to extend it first this is slidable uh, around the back here there is a blue screw thing that you undo and then you can slide this out and this is meant for keeping track of longer PCI Express cards uh, like this one but this one doesn't really do that so let's put this in and slide this back then you would see that this piece of metal uh, is conflicting with the battery holder over here I can open that and that will work some a lot better uh, now it's conflicting with some cables that you can't see but it's not the easiest thing let's just admit that but it's in there and it's not bad did I get that all the way down? Oh, there it is. That's, that's how it goes. And I can slide this, slide this back again. If I can get the cables out of the way. And we can screw it in somewhere around there. Um, the power outlets for the graphics card are down here. There are two of them. So I don't want I don't want this piece of metal to be pushing on that. So that's also an issue. And the battery compartment here um, oh, it actually does work okay this might not be so bad I thought this was worse um, these are meant to be blowing down air from up, up, up here there's not gonna be much room for them to blow in air because of the way this is uh, laying there so I have ordered a new graphics card where the airflow is different uh, this one is not turning very well but sure that's fine 
Now I will probably just have to put in uh, the, ra the riser card over here. Uh, we can put in the blank. I don't know how much it would be complaining over here if there's nothing in there. So we don't want that. So this will just be sitting there. And I'll see if I can find some cables to put in there. You can't get this plastic one off while the graphics card is in there. Which is a problem because one of the cables are up here. I guess you could get it in under somehow. But well, we'll see what possibilities we have here. So here is my stash of GPU cards. Different stuff. Uh, oh, forgot about that. Um, some of you might remember this one. Converted into a PCI Express X8. It lives in this box when it's not on the film set. Mm -hmm. But I also have a variety of different cables that I was hoping would, could do something good for me today. But I'm afraid that uh, I have been through these. I have these. And this is for an HP server. It actually fits really well in the generation 6 over here that one has a plug like this to uh, power something and you can uh, have two six pins coming out of there but that doesn't fit in my Lenovo server mm. just want to make sure plug is down here and it's an eight pin connection it's a really regular one you see these in every graphics card on the market more or less so to make this work with this graphics card I need a cable like this I wouldn't mind if it was a little bit longer but kind of like you plug in the two uh, six pin connections here like that and you plug this down to the motherboard or system board uh, this one is the wrong one so well now I know what I need to go order on eBay or Amazon yeah it has to be longer than that this is not gonna cut it even when I do find a cable that will convert these two 6 pins into one 8 pins, I will have some trouble getting that in. This plastic is in the way for putting in those connections. This corner is going to give me a lot of trouble. If this is the card that I'm going to be using, I think I might want to go and look if there is a well, smaller card. would really be nice just to have one with one fan or something else like that. That's something that I would have to go look into. That would make my job a lot easier. This is not an expensive card. This is an AMD Radeon HD 6950. And I'm using this because it's really good for GPU rendering on my editing software. Right now that's why I'm looking on if I can put this in here. But, uh, well, I might go find another one that fits better. Over here in the slot number one, there's not really a lot of room for a good GPU. Could take this out, but if you can find something like this, a one slot wide GPU, it will actually go in there um, and not get too much in the way for those cables, which is also kind of awesome. That could sit there without too much problems. It, it sticks out over here and these are rare they're not very common and this is an old one it's not really worth the trouble to put it in i think it scores oh i forget but it's a geforce 8800 gt uh, i have played with this before tried to pass it through uh, vmware uh, did not have a lot of luck with it back then but I think I might have found some ninja tricks since then, but I don't think I'm gonna waste time on it in this computer. It might be fun in some other computer, but oh, well, maybe we'll get back to it. If you're trying to put in a GPU that is not meant to go in this kind of server, you will probably, like me, run into some problems. The connections is in the wrong place, the cables are not long enough. Of course, if you go buy a GPU that has Lenovo signed all over it, You'll pay a lot of money for it, but all the cables and all the stuff will also be there. And that is, of course, the way that you would go in a professional environment. I would really like to do this cheaper. Um, this is also why I don't widely recommend servers as a gaming computer, because it's not really easy to put in a really good graphics card. It, it is actually possible to put in a good graphics card in this server, 
but now this server is also kind of pricey. In the older servers, the Model 3s and 2s, there is only one 6-pin connector for the power. That's 75 watts of power for the graphics card. Um, you can get the riser card. I did a video on that. Uh, the, the special riser card for GPUs that will also supply 75 watts. But that was like finding a unicorn. That's like, they're just not available. So you have 25 watts from the X8 if you do that ninja trick and you get another 75 watts from the 6-pin power connector. That's 100 watts for a GPU. That's not a good GPU, that might be an okay GPU, but you're better off with a workstation then. I'll go um, surf the net and see if I can find some cables for this to uh, try out in one of my next videos. Might also try and take out the Grid 1 card from the server where I'm editing right now to see if uh, how that fits in here. But um, that's, that's more work. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see where this goes. Have a really nice day. Bye-bye.